Marty here with GuitarJams.com, hanging out with a master, a Jedi master. <laughs> <laughs> I could actually. I know. You I, know I can. I'm sorry. I can make that's the another, float. That's another lesson. Yes, that is another it's lesson. Up later. <laughs> um, Bob, Bob Ryan, uh, he did some country lessons on GuitarJams.com, the actual site. That exists if you don't know about that. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so just give away the end of this package. So yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, but we were just jamming because first of all, I, you know, I want to try and soak up some of this stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, and we were jamming, and, and I just saw I picked out one of the licks. He just shredded, and we kind of worked it out. And he just taught it to me. We're gonna demo it here in a second, and then I'm gonna you know have Bob teach it to you guys. But it's a really what kind of I mean, do you call it a country lick? You know. <clears throat> Country licks, briefly. Country licks are, are tone and attitude as much as they are. You know, uh, if you take some Clapton licks, right. blues runs, and you put compression and a clean tone on it, you've got country licks. So right. it's an attitude as well as a tone and a. So these are c considered country licks, but this is more of a little more, a little bit jazzed up. Yeah, yeah. Lick, I, isn't it, isn't I, I could hear the lick. I could you immediately. Go, what, is that, you said, I could, what was that chromatic? I want yeah, you to yeah. show what's that chromatic thing. I could completely it? implement it into a funk groove or, or, a, or a rock little, groove right. or whatever. Right. I mean, it, it would work in anything. Like, so right. we were doing it over kind of a little bit country e, groove. It's an E7. Stagnant, little E, stagnant E7 vamp thing we're doing. And why don't you. Yeah, yeah, here's. guitar player or you know that's got that boogie feel to it yeah. um, jazzy all that stuff but basically it's it that the lick that we're about to show you fits over an E7 it can be an E blues anything like that you can apply it to your bag easily now is what you mean right yeah yeah right, for right. sure and, and the it's, context is it's e. Re. and it's yeah yeah triplets look group of triplets really it's obviously first right yeah mm -hmm. And then you're doing a little bit of a little a backwards arpeggio, kind of A7. Cool, cool. So here, here, let's so uh, let's go. Yeah, well, so we'll, we start on the. Uh, I, I'm, you know, I don't count friends that frets right. that often, but it, we're basically on the like 17, 16, 7, 15. Yeah. So 17, 16, 15 on the B string. Then we're gonna go 14, 14 13, 13, 12. 14, 13, 12 on the same string. Then 12, 11, 10. Well, the very same B string. And then this is where it gets really cool. And then this little bit of an odd. And so you've got uh, your index finger is on the uh, eighth, eighth fret, fret of the B string. Mm -hmm. And then middle finger goes to the ninth fret of the G. And then pinky, or I guess some people use a ring finger. Ring finger I use my pinky. pinky. Ring finger or pinky on this one, really. Yeah, and then so that's going to be on the eleventh fret of the D. D string. So on the B. That's right. In the, in the B, the G, and the D string. Eight, nine, eleven. And so I have a question for you. When you're doing the chromatic part, that first part, are you alternating your every pick? Um, you know, I'm going up, down, up, down, up, yeah. alternate picking. Cadencing is cute. You're kind of doing three quick triplets and going da 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 da, kind of a right. bop thing. So it's, da, 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 da. Okay. it's a little bit of a bop feel in this. Uh... Cool. So let's hear the lick a couple times with me playing that rhythm for you again. Okay. Time. 
down slow. Awesome. Now um, just bla blaze it twice, blaze it twice, and I think we're good. All right, so guitarjams.com. That's it. Bob Ryan, Shredding Lick. Thank you. Um, and you'll, you know, see more of him in the future. I hope so. Yeah, yeah for sure. Thanks for having me, buddy. Oh, yeah, man. All right. Ching! <laughs> we'll see you real soon. Um, what?